en question. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The floor is now once again given to Judge Lavens to continue his questioning of this witness. Due to the interrogation due to the witness, you have the floor, Mr. Judge. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le témoin, si vous vous sentez fatigué, si vous avez besoin d'une pause, je vous demanderai bien sûr de me signaler. Je peux comprendre que vous n'étiez pas en très très grande très grande forme. Revenons à, au document E3-858 que nous étions en train d'examiner tout à l'heure. Et vous m'avez donné déjà des explications sur la composition du bureau K1. Et notamment sur la première page, on voit donc le nom de Bang Lin. Et il est dit qu'il est le responsable général des bureaux de K1 et K4. Voilà. Est-ce que euh, vous euh, nous confirmez ce que j'ai cru comprendre tout à l'heure, à savoir que Bang Lin était aussi connu comme étant le nommé Ken Il avait aussi le nom Ken. Est-ce que vous pouvez, si vous avez eu le temps de regarder un petit peu cette liste, est-ce qu'il y a des noms qui vous rappellent quelque chose Est-ce que le deuxième nom, qui est le nom de Bang Tan, par exemple, où il est dit qu'il est le chef du bureau K1, ou le, chef, ou le nom de Bang Sin, qui est en troisième position, chef des agents de sécurité euh, qui escorte l'oncle aîné. Est-ce que ces noms vous rappellent quelque chose Est-ce que vous connaissiez un dénommé Sem Did you know a person called Sem Ketor alias Sem, est-ce que ça vous dit quelque chose Ketor alias Sem. Does this name refresh your memory Judge Lavage, could you please repeat the name of the person as the interpreter did not get it? Oui, je parlais d'une personne qui se serait appelée Sem et dont son véritable nom aurait été Ket Thor. Authentic name would have purportedly been Ket Thor. Saim was the wife of Lin or Kain. Kain. Alors, on va passer à une autre page. Dans la version française, c'est la page 9. Je l'ai mentionné avec un petit... Mentionné cassette en marge. Si vous pouvez aller jusqu'à cette page numéro 9, en français, c'est le RN 00634388. Voilà, et cette page traite donc du bureau K7. Voilà, donc le but, il est indiqué bureau cassette, messagerie, standard téléphonique et transport. Et le premier nom qui figure, c'est le nom de Anne. Chef, il assure les fonctions de chef du bureau cassette. Ensuite, il y a le nom de Torn. Voilà, Est-ce que... Ces noms-là, est-ce que vous pouvez lire rapidement les, les noms qui figurent sur cette liste et nous dire si ces noms évoquent quelque chose pour vous 
uh, this list, uh, go over the names and tell me if any of those names refresh your memory. But, uh, Han, uh, uh, I knew the name Han. Je connaissais le nom de Han. But I don't think he was the chairman of Office K7. Je ne pense pas qu'il soit le président du bureau K7. Han was the chairman Han chairman of production. Était le président de la K8. Production. As I recall it. K8, si je me souviens bien. There could be a reorganization. Il est possible qu'il y ait eu un remaniement. And I may not know this person by the name of Han in this context. Cette personne Han sous ses fonctions. As the person by the name of Han whom I knew. Car la personne, enfin le Han que je connaissais. The chairman of the production unit, the president of the Bassac River, which was also known as K8, also known as K8, the name of K8. Now, let's pass on to another rubric, which is the rubric next, K13. So, it's two pages further away. K13, il est indiqué secteur de la télégraphie. Le RN en français, c'est le 0064-3490. La page 11 sur 16. Alors, il est dit ceci, bureau K13, secteur de la télégraphie. Premièrement, Pon est le, 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 le chef du bureau K13. Avant, Pon, il était un enseignant à Kompong Cham. Son lieu de naissance était à Tuol Sambo. En 1970, il s'est engagé dans l'armée. Voilà. Deuxième nom, Yos. Assume la fonction de chef adjoint du bureau K13. Troisième nom, At, assume la fonction de membre du bureau K13. Ensuite vient en quatrième position le nom de Sen. Alors, est-ce que ces noms, y compris celui de Lac, de Sreang, est-ce que ces noms vous évoquent quelque chose Et pourquoi parle-t-on de bureau K13 alors que, semble-t-il, euh, j'ai cru comprendre que le bureau chargé de la télégraphie était le bureau K18. Alors, est-ce qu'il s'agit d'une erreur Je ne comprends pas. Parce que Bond... Was my supervisor, and here he was also in charge of the telegram together with you. Était responsable des télégrammes, tout comme you. I never heard of K13. I did not know whether it was a newly formed. Je ne sais pas s'il s'agissait de nouveau bureau. As for the names of Ad. And Lack, les personnes appelées and Srien, I knew them. Lack et Srien, je les ai connus. I cannot recall the person by the name of Sain. Sain, but I am certain of the name Pon and Yu. Pon et Yos, but here he, he, their names were put under K13. It should not be K13. It should be K8. It should be K18. Bien, dernier, dernière rubrique, c'est à l'avant-dernière page, le bureau K1 à l'extérieur de la maison de l'oncle, à l'extérieur de la maison d'homme. Donc, euh, sur le document, vous pouvez regarder, c'est la page 14 sur 16, 
ERN 64-34-93 en, en français. Alors, il y a un certain nombre de noms, là encore. Tout d'abord, le nom de DIM. Il dit qu'il assume la fonction de responsable de K1. Ensuite, le nom de Tang, chef adjoint de K1. Le nom de T, membre du bureau de K1. Ensuite, Pic, Chun, Chat, Long. Alors, est-ce que ces noms vous disent quelque chose Est-ce que ça correspond à, à vos souvenirs Refresh your memory or call to mind anything. This is on your English page 0039173. Ma <coughs> nick It's, it's the defense team outside K1. L'équipe de défense à l'extérieur de K1. I cannot recall the names since je I did not know them well. Je ne reconnais pas ces noms, je ne les connaissais pas bien. Parmi les noms que vous avez lus là sur ce document, est-ce que vous vous souvenez si certains ont été euh, nettoyés, purgés ou éliminés? Smashed, ou écrasé. Qu'est-ce que vous avez su à l'époque concernant time, les personnes qui étaient dans les bureaux K1 et qui ont disparu No, I cannot recall that. Non, je ne me souviens de rien de la sorte. On this page, it lists the names of those Sur who provided page, the protection outside, and I did not know them well. C'est la liste des noms qui assurait la protection à l'extérieur de la maison, et je ne les connaissais pas bien. Alors, pour terminer, j'indique que nous avons un certain nombre de documents qui viennent de S21. Nous en avons un premier qui figure à la cote D108-26.227. Et il s'agit d'une liste intitulée Ministère S71. On y lit un certain nombre de choses. Par exemple, le numéro 7 sur cette liste s'appelle San Sim, alias At. Il est indiqué comme étant le chef adjoint du bureau K18. Il serait rentré à S21 le 9 juin 1978. On y lit un nom dont il, a, dont il a été question déjà hier, au numéro 13, c'est le nom de Ook Pan, alias Pon, chef du bureau des téléphones. Entré à S21 le 4 avril 1978. On y lit également au numéro 15 le nom de Tang Han, décrit comme étant le chef des messagers du groupe du bureau 7, entré le 24 mai 1978. On y lit également au numéro 19 le nom de Tune Kim Sroi. Alias Reng, chef du groupe du bureau K18. Identified as chief of group of office K18. Ce sont des noms qui vous disent quelque chose, Monsieur. Est-ce que vous avez entendu parler de, Sir, de ces disparitions Alors, il No, I did not know. No, je I only knew pas. about the disappearance of Pond, my supervisor. As for the rest, I did not know when or autres, how they disappeared. Plutôt quand et comment ils ont disparu. 
Bien, je vous remercie, monsieur le témoin. Je vous remercie pour les efforts que vous avez faits pour votre témoignage. Je vous remercie, monsieur le témoin. Je vous remercie pour toutes vos efforts en répondant à mes questions. Je vous remercie pour votre témoignage. Et, monsieur le président, ce sont toutes les questions que j'ai. President, thank you. Allow now to give the floor to give some points of defence to hold questions to this witness. International Defence Council for Nunchie. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, everyone. I'm not trying to cut the line here. I just have a quick announcement to make. With respect to two documents which were recently placed on the case file, that's D200-3.11 and D200-3.12, those are audio recordings and transcripts of audio audio recordings of the interview of this witness. Pursuant to Judge Fenz's ruling from the other day, I just wanted to give everyone notice that he may utilize these documents. They're not on the interface, obviously. One we received uh, afternoon yesterday and one has just come on the file now. So I just wanted to mention that for notice purposes. We may make use of them, I'm not saying we will, but uh, everyone's seen them, they're part of the witness statement, this is the witness that we're dealing with today, and I, I think there was an assumption that was made, or a presumption that was made last week, or, or maybe the week before that, that the witness statements, sorry, that the witness statements would be sort of assumed to be used by all the parties, so I'm, I'm just flagging this, that's what I want Thank you. President, the floor is now given to Kyrgyzstan's defense. Good morning, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, everyone in the around the courtroom. Good morning, Mr. Nong Sopong. My name is Kung Sopong, a defense counsel for Kyu Sopong. And on behalf of my client, Kyu Sopong, I'd like to thank you for your valuable time that you spent to testify in detail in this courtroom for the last couple of days, despite your state of being ce, unwell. Malgré vos soucis de santé. I have some questions that I need your clarification on. Quelques questions à vous poser des fins d'éclaircissement. They are mostly based on the questions and your response so far. Découlant des réponses que vous avez déjà données. First, allow you to 
clarify your status as a decoder at office K18 quant à votre poste de décodeur, vous dites qu'il y avait des équipes, une équipe interne et une équipe externe. What I want to know is, what was the responsibility for the incoming messages to your office? Quelles étaient les responsabilités pour les messages entrants à votre bureau? And what was the difference, the responsibility Quelles étaient les différences de responsabilité entre l'équipe interne et l'équipe externe? Or was it the same? Oui. Or was Elle it les mêmes fonctions? based on the urgency, on Ou the confidentiality de of the message? Du Can you message? enlighten us on this point? Vos précisions Response. seront appréciées. Réponse. Let me clarify the work of my group working at K1 and not K18. À K1 et pas K18. At K1, we had the inside decoder team. Nous avions une équipe de décodeurs internes. And I was at the some Dank Soteros school, which was another decoding team. And we were tasked also with the training. Et nous avions aussi la tâche de former les décodeurs. When it comes to the work of these two teams, and as I have stated so far, Comme je déjà it depends on the nature of le travail the des deux message. Dépendait de la nature du message. If the message did not have anything to do with si the enemy or the enemy in person, for instance, ou I would use that kind of message for the training to teach the younger workers. So we kind of taught them on the job. En fait, nous leur avons enseigné le travail sur le tas. For example, if I was responsible for exemple, the northeast zone, si j'étais responsable. As I was, but later on, due to the, the intensified situation at the border, and in other words, sufficient communication de for in situation time à la frontière, replies, et le besoin d'avoir des réponses. Then the euh, North East messages were decoded inside. Les messages en code Morse étaient décodés à l'interne. Étaient décodés à l'interne. If I am and certain, please uh, ask me ça. additional questions. Si ce n'est pas clair, veuillez, je vous prie, me poser des questions supplémentaires. Counselor, Question. thank you for your clarification Merci pour and ces uh, the correction that you made. Et la correction que vous My question apporter. is, for the outside team, how many workers for that team? And what about the inside team? How many members? Et l'équipe interne, combien de membres du personnel avait-elle? Response. Réponse. For my outside group, pour mon groupe extérieur, there were those children that I trained. There were four of the young ones. Quatre jeunes who could assist me with my work. Qui pouvaient m'aider dans mon travail. In total, Au for those total, dupes who could parmi les jeunes carry out the task in my team, there were about manquer, ten of them. Il y en avait une dizaine. Regarding the inside members, Le there were only a few of them. Interne, il n'y en avait que quelques uns. Il n'y avait que quelques Never personnes qui travaillaient many. pour le groupe interne. Il n'y en avait pas beaucoup. Council, thank you. Question. And for your outside team, Et did you designate any particular individuals into smaller teams for the purpose of decoding messages? Le personnel en équipe plus petite à des fins de décodage. Response: Yes, Réponse. indeed, there was. En effet, oui. 
because we actually received messages from more than nous ten recevions des messages spearheads de plus so de one dix of us for Donc, three or chacun d'entre nous pouvait être responsable de trois ou quatre cibles Or some would be responsible for only two Certains, or three. Que deux ou trois. Council, thank you. Question. When or after your staff decoded the message, Was you the one who will verify the content of the decoding message? Vérifiez-vous le contenu du message décodé. As I was the one who Réponse. bore the responsibility outside, comme c'était moi qui avais la responsabilité I de l'extérieur, je vérifiais the content, including the, the spelling contenu, errors, errors de, or the accuracy of the text, et aussi l'exactitude du texte. And if the the decoding made some errors or si had to understand, then I would have to verify it and amend it. Je so I did all these aspects before the message was et sent donc to K1. Je faisais donc cela avant que le message soit envoyé à K1. Council, thank you. Question. Merci. Did your office verify the information contained in each message? Votre bureau a-t-il vérifié les renseignements contenus dans chaque message? message was sent to your office, Par exemple, lorsqu'un message était envoyé à votre bureau, did you the content of that message? En vérifiant le contenu, was accurate. Or was your sole responsibility was just to decode ou votre responsabilité the message était and that was simplement it. de le décoder? Response. Regarding Réponse. whether the content was accurate or savoir, not. Savoir, euh, enfin, sur le sujet de l'exactitude du contenu. Was not. Our authority to verify it. We only Nous n'avions pas cette responsabilité. The message that was sent to Nous ne faisions que décoder les messages qui nous étaient envoyés. So we did not know whether the Nous ne savions pas si transmission of the report and the content was accurate or not. Et leur contenu était exact ou non. As long as It was within the message. We simply decoded it. Nous ne faisions que décoder le message. In relation to the carbon copy. Through ankles, à as you des have carbone, stated so far, aux you confirmed that when you decoded, after you decoded Vous the message, confirmé, you would only put in message, the date of the decoding, and then it was your supervisor who would authorize for the line copied to. Autoriser la liste My de distribution is, des copies. Was, what was the procedure to verify that the documents that you sent will be reach those intended recipients? Le document que vous envoyez euh, était reçu de leur destinataire. Response. I did Réponse. not know whether those messages Je ne savais pas si le message it's uh, their intended recipients. And as for the typing of the copied to line, Pour ce qui était de la ligne, copy if a, I myself was certain that si I would type it in certain, to this ankle or that ankle based on the existing uh, principle, and usually there was no, no change 
it, it was kind of a regular. So usually they copy lines to was regular to those intended encodes and office. However, in certain cases, when I was uncertain, before I put in the copy line through, I had to make a phone call first to verify it as who would be the intended recipient. And once I received the information from Pond, then that line would be tied. And then... If uh, I am not clear, then I would uh, simply relay uh, the message in its entirety. Question. When you were decoding each uh, telegram, did you... Uh, upon, uh, upon receiving the uh, telegrams, uh, did you ever see the uh, names of individuals who were in the uh, carbon copies? Or did you only see the uh, telegrams and then uh, those who were supposed to be uh, copied to was added letter? But response, no, I never received such uh, telegrams. Non, je n'ai jamais reçu ce genre de telegram. Bassam Alcon. Council, thank you. Question. Merci. I have a few additional questions concerning the organization of the Communist Party of Cambodia. You testified at length on this uh, issue with the uh, prosecution as well as the lead co-lawyers for the civil parties. In your earlier testimony, you use certain words to refer to the party or the Communist Party of Kampuchea, so I would like to ask you for clarification on the use of terms, for example. You use the word center. In your previous testimony before the chamber, I would like to bring up an example. Uh, that was a testimony on the 3rd of September 2012 on page 16 of the Khmer transcript and 19 and 20 uh, in, uh, in English and 19 in French. You used the word center office and 870 committee bureau du centre and et comité 870. so on. And you Et also mentioned uh, that the uh, secretive uh, code number of A70 was referred to the uh, party center. Que le code secret 870 Faisait référence au so once again, you use the word center, center office, center committee, H70 committee, M870, H70 committee, standing committee. So these were all the terms you used in your testimony. Could you make the distinction between or among these terms? Uh, do you? understand uh, whether or not uh, each term was referred to any specific entity can you can you make any distinction between the terms you use response i understand uh, that uh, there were many terms and connotations of words, but what we commonly uh, saw at that time was Office 870. 
When people refer to it as Onka, actually it was 870. When people refer to the party committee, it was also referred, referred uh, to as Office 870. So I was rather confused myself. I did not know who sat in the standing committee and who sat in other committees. And it was my personal understanding uh, that applied meaning uh, of, of that was that uh, we actually at the uh, Telegram uh, unit, uh, we did not care whether or not uh, they were from uh, anywhere or who was doing what, but uh, we had to uh, send the Telegram to uh, Notre Office 870. And my understanding uh, at the time of the internal arrangement of the party uh, was very limited, and I was at the lower level uh, position, so I did not understand uh, how they uh, would resort to using any particular code names uh, for a particular entity. Council, thank you. Merci. So my un if my understanding is correct, you find it si difficult to assess the specific or intended uh, meaning of each uh, code names, Le but in the interest of my client, I would like to ask you for your clarification. So far in clients, your unit, you did not make any distinction what uh, was referred to Office 870 or 870 Committee or the Party Center. So in your unit, you did not make that distinction. Is that correct? exact. Response. That is correct. Oui, exact. Question. Question. Thank you for clarification. I would like to now uh, Merci de ces move on to another question. Et je passe à une autre question. Do you have a clear understanding between the uh, Standing Committee and Central Committee of the Communist Party of Cambodia? Comprenez-vous bien? Le sens du Par comité permanent et du comité central du Parti communiste response. du Cambodge. I actually responded uh, to the same questions by the uh, lawyers for the civil parties. Uh, actually, I said in my early testimony that even the leaders who were in the leadership level did not understand the internal arrangement of the party. And how could a person at my level, which is very low in the organizational structure, uh, know the, uh, who was sitting in the standing committee or central committee? Council. So is it a fair summary to say that uh, you uh, cannot make any distinction between the standing committee and the central committee? Is that fair to summarize so? Response, yes, it is. Council. Thank you, Mr. Nong Suk Pong. I do Merci not have any Monsieur further Nong questions Sopong. for you, and I thank you, Mr. President, and your honors for the opportunity to put the questions to uh, the witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Je m'appelle Arthur Verken. Witness. My name is Arthur Verken. Un avocat. I am also Monsieur Kiosampan. Council for Mr. également Kiosampan. quelques rapides questions à, à vous poser. I also have a few quick questions um, to put to you. Est-ce que vous pourriez, je sais que vous avez peut-être répondu ou effleuré cette question uh, déjà dans uh, vos réponses, mais these questions à votre sketchy. connaissance, à Phnom Penh, pendant le régime du Cambodge démocratique. Lorsque Phnom vous y avez travaillé, les différents regime, ministères disposaient-ils en interne de leurs propres équipes 
de codage, de décodage et de leur propre ligne et machine télégraphique. As well as their own telegraph machines and lines. But, uh, no, they didn't. No, ils n'en avaient pas. Other ministries uh, did not have uh, the encoding or the coding unit, or not even the telegram unit. But as for Ministry of Foreign Affairs, I am not sure. That's why I. Uh, they are not comment on it. Ça, je suis pas sûr. Je but ne rien dire uh, apart from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, uh, there Affaires was no any uh, decoding or encoding uh, unit attached to other ministry, except the Ministry of uh, Defense. Of course, the Air Force, the Infantry France, Forces, as well as the uh, Navy, uh, they hacked uh, their uh, encoding and decoding uh, unit as well as the um, uh, landlines and, and also uh, telephone contact. Merci. Thank you. Vous avez compris, Monsieur, que nous disposons, euh, ce you tribunal euh, dispose euh, non seulement de la version écrite euh, des procès-verbaux de vos entretiens avec les enquêteurs, mais également euh, d'enregistrements des discussions que vous avez eues avec les enquêteurs of du tribunal. Et, pour ceux qui concernent of the le premier entretien que vous avez eu avec les enquêteurs, the first interview you gave le 18 février 2009, in, uh, uh, c'est la cote D200 par 3.11, version française 00084-3072, anglaise 008-44-44. Version française, 008, 43, 072, version anglaise, 008, 44, 067, et version Khmer, 008, 38, 464, et vous avez dit que Champan n'avait pas de télégramme, il ne communiquait que par lettre manuscrite, ou sinon il nous téléphonait depuis son bureau. Il me demandait de faire des courriers, de les envoyer à tel ou tel endroit. Et ensuite, vous expliquer une fois ces lettres codées chiffrées, vous les faisiez envoyer à l'extérieur. And given a reference Vous avez reparlé number, de cela à cette barre le 29 août, to la outside semaine location. dernière. You said this before juste this après chamber. 11h57, minutes, On the 29th of August, en page 52 de la version française, et vous avez déclaré que les messages de Kyo Sampan French, passaient forcément that par votre messages unité. Est-ce que vous savez, que vous your saviez unit. si... Pour ce qui concerne M. Chiosampan, c'était vous qui étiez euh, responsable de tous ces messages. In charge of all those messages. But, uh, My, my communication with Mr. Kiosampan as well as uh, with his uh, team at that time et avec son was as follow. If it was a letter, then he would uh, have it uh, typed, and then he would uh, have that Il letter sent uh, through a messenger to my unit in order to uh, encode uh, the message. However, if uh, the letters were short, 
and urgent, si then his office would urgent, communicate cas, uh, to my office through telephone. Son contact avec le mien par telephone. He actually had the authority to get the letter or message uh, sent uh, to Lui K1. Faire envoyer un message ou un courrier and if à K1, there was any message relating to my unit, then K1 would refer that letter to my unit. Dans ce K1 nous le so what I am trying to say is that it was not every letter from him that had to go through my unit. He had the authority to communicate with another team of mine who were stationed at K1 if he had any urgent or certain message he wanted to send there. Alors, je voudrais vous demander une explication sur le codage, une May explication I très simple. Je voudrais savoir si, par codage, the vous entendiez system. également When you talk le simple, of encoding, euh, la simple traduction are you morse, of ou est-ce que quand vous parlez de codage, c'est toujours une numérisation code, euh, afin de rendre, rendre le message discret Est-ce que votre a to a message service était chargé to make it aussi de transformer une lettre was your service also texte in normal en morse of ou est-ce que c'était toujours une codification a euh, en vue d'une confidentialité Ou vous avez juste simplement encodé pour des raisons de confidentialité Mais... My unit was to encode the message. By encoding, I mean the content of a letter which was uh, typewritten or written. Then it had to be encoded in order to uh, turn them into code numbers. So we would not read it as letters as such, but it was uh, the uh, code numbers. But that was not considered uh, secretive code. But if we want to uh, uh, make it into a secret uh, code, then it had, we had to use Morse code. Once we uh, transform uh, it into uh, using Morse code, then it turned to be the uh, secret uh, telegram. But we use the Morse, uh, Morse, uh, Morse itself was not the uh, secret uh, Code. We used tip tip ta and, uh, and we did not have to encode numbers. Morse, if, if we used Morse code, uh, then uh, people could read it uh, and understand it. I hope I have made myself clear. Malheureusement, vous savez que vos propos sont traduits you know, en plusieurs langues successivement. Il se peut qu'il y ait des distorsions entre ce que vous dites et ce que moi j'entends en français. Et il il se trouve il y en a une. Euh, vous avez and dit à la fois que well le morse, enfin en tout cas, m'a traduit à la fois I que le morse était un code secret. Et on m'a dit à la fin de votre réponse, le morse code était secret. Vous disiez que le morse n'était pas le code secret. Answer, Donc, il y a une contradiction dans ce que vous venez de dire. Secret. Pour moi, so what you stated was du peu que j'en sache, le morse, c'est un langage international qui est connu de the tout le monde. Is an et le simple passage d'un texte, known to everyone. par exemple en français, en morse, 
euh, ne le crypte pas. Euh, C'est le passage d'un texte euh, écrit en français euh, en chiffres qui constitue un cryptage. Est-ce que ce que je dis est correct When you encrypt a document, you give it numbers. Is that correct? Response: Yes, uh, you are uh, correct. Actually, oui. we Vous avez raison. did not use Morse code uh, in order to en effet, encrypt nous the nous message. They, uh, it was the ordinary letters that could be understood by the readers, for example, people who speak French or English, uh, uh, they would understand, for example, Cambodia, uh, it would be uh, uh, soit written in uh, la Latin words, then Cambodge, you did not have to decode uh, uh, this The mods we used were of two types. One Nous was the mod of Khmer language, and the other one was for English or French. Those who were in the uh, Telegram unit uh, would uh, be able to use the Morse code uh, both in Khmer and in French or English. Je vous remercie pour cette réponse très précise qui clarifie Thank effectivement les choses. Answer, uh, et je voudrais vous demander si what you uh, stated earlier. ce que vous avez appelé tout à l'heure lettre ouverte uh, correspond letters. avec uh, un des types de lettres Is dont vous venez de parler. C'est-à-dire que vous avez parlé des, des of lettres the de Pieux Sans Pan en disant to. que c'était des of one lettres of the letters ouvertes. Letters By que ça dire exactement saying vous that uh, dit cela, it was an open letter. Ouverte. What did you mean when you referred to that letter as an open letter? Um. By open letter, I mean that message was not secretive in nature. In other words, uh, it was the uh, letters about the uh, distribution of materials and things like that, uh, so that that uh, letter uh, is informed uh, to the zones and Ces zones level would uh, know uh, how much material they uh, could anticipate and particular event uh, those material uh, be uh, delivered uh, to the uh, zone so that uh, the zones would arrange the uh, pick up or so of those materials sent from the uh, center. But as for the letters, uh, that needed to be uh, encoded Ensuite, or encrypted, it was different. But these kinds of open letter, it did not require such complex encrypting method. Sometimes we uh, receive this letter and then we uh, simply uh, encode it, uh, the numbers and then send uh, them across uh, to the zones. We did not have to uh, go through many layers of encoding and encrypting. And as for the other types of open letter, By ways of example, uh, if he had an open instruction or a statement, a public statement uh, to be made for the interest of the public, then we can use uh, more code in Khmer uh, to type the message. For example, if there was an instruction for uh, organizing national uh, festivals or so, uh, then uh, 
this would be uh, typed using Morse code, and we send the information to the public that uh, the uh, president of the state uh, presidium would uh, address the public on the uh, festival day. Then that kinds of letters or in information was meant uh, for the public, and it was even sent uh, overseas as well for uh, foreign friends. These types of uh, letters or statements uh, did not go through the uh, encoding process. Uh, we merely use Morse code. Uh, so that distinguished between uh, the uh, secret uh, nature and the open nature of the letters or statements. Thank you. And did such letters also pass through your service? Is that correct? This was like the uh, circular or a directive sometimes. So whenever he needed uh, to address the public during Donc, the uh, Khmer New Year or the International New Year, then he would uh, issue a circular in order to inform members of the public uh, to be uh, les membres du public, uh, ready to listen to his public statement. Qu'il allait faire une déclaration publique. Et cette circulaire passait par vous. And did such circulars pass through your office? More often than not, uh, for the uh, public statement temps, or circular, uh, he would uh, send it to K1. Then K1 would uh, relay K1. the uh, message. Uh, for example, K1, K1 message. would decide uh, where to send this uh, letter or statement to. Of course, K1 had the authority to circulate this uh, letter to every zone across the country, uh, but I was only responsible for certain uh, zone communication. Then these types of letter would uh, go through K1 first. And I can bring up a specific example on the issue of of material distribution, then he would uh, communicate the message to my unit. Uh, he did not uh, normally uh, send it to K1. He would send it directly to my unit. I do understand. Thank you. I would like to know whether during the period when you worked in Phnom Penh, Une méfiance vis-à-vis uh, -vis du téléphone. There was some kind of mistrust ce que je veux dire, vis -vis -vis que the telephone. Un de vos commanditaires vous aurait transmis un message this. confidentiel Did par téléphone ou qu'il aurait préféré to you do so uh, le faire remettre uh, uh, phone, par uh, messager humain. To have it qu'il y avait ce type de méfiance you, à l'égard du téléphone à l'époque. Was there any such mistrust of the telephone at the time? Response, that I do not know. Je ne sais pas. Je vois, Monsieur le Président, qu'il est midi. Mr. President, Comme, uh, I see it is noon. Sujet, As I would like to go into pause. another line of questioning, perhaps it is the right time for us to take the break. Mr. President, thank you. The time is now appropriate for lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn now until 1.30 this afternoon. Witness Mr. Nong Sopong, 
Monsieur le témoin, non souvent. Can you assess your state of health as of now, whether or not you can continue providing testimony this afternoon? Et pensez-vous être en mesure de continuer Witness. à déposer cet après-midi? With utmost respect, Mr. President, um, even though Avec my state of health is rather fragile, but I uh, si am un état de santé uh, assez fragile, committed to providing this testimony to the chamber, so I will endeavor to do so this afternoon. The President, uh, court officer is instructed to facilitate uh, the uh, venue and place for uh, the witness to raise and uh, have him back uh, to this courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon. And if necessary, Mr. Witness, uh, you may uh, let us know, then the court officers will will engage um, treating doctors or medical doctors who are uh, on duty in the court uh, to examine your state of health, as the case may be. I note the defense counsel is on his feet. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Very quickly, I, I've just been informed that our client is suffering from a backache, a headache, and a general lack of concentration. And for those reasons, he wishes to retire to the holding cell for the afternoon. And that is our application this morning. Thank you very much. The President, the Chamber notes the request by Mr. Nguyen Chia to his defense counsel uh, to follow the proceeding remotely through audiovisual means uh, for the remainder of today's proceedings due to his health reason. Uh, he cannot sit for a long time and he has uh, problems uh, concentrating in the afternoon. And, uh, we consider this uh, request uh, appropriate, so the request is granted. Mr. Nunchier uh, is uh, granted leave to follow the proceeding from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means, and Mr. Nunji has expressly waived uh, his right to not to be present directly in this courtroom. Uh, the defense team for Mr. Nunji is required uh, to submit uh, the waiver with the signature or some print of Mr. Nunji, and AV assistants are instructed to connect the audiovisual link uh, for Mr. Nunji to the holding cell downstairs for the remainder of today's proceeding. Security Guards are instructed to bring Mr. Nguyen Chia and Mr. Kilsom Pong to the holding cell downstairs. Uh, this afternoon, Mr. Nguyen Chia is to remain in the holding cell where he will be connected to the audiovisual uh, link uh, to follow the proceeding. And Mr. Kilsom Pong is to be brought to this courtroom before 1.30. The court is now adjourned. Rise.